Ja. Ja. Oh, uh, the punks of the police. Or the, the punks of the Norwegian police. You see, I have been here sitting at home for like five hours now. The five hours, I have been tortured for five hours. Complete fucking torture for five fucking hours. On my fucking ears, the pressure, the anger, the agitation, the aggravation. You know, by the directed energy weapons. Exclusively at night, you know. They just, they love to just torture me at night. In the morning, if I'm just like driving and my, 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 I'm just like focusing on something else. They just don't want me to focus on something else. I just cannot be focusing on something else. You know, they have to always cut me. Like they have to always like bring somebody to provoke or harass or intimidate or, you know, bully or whatever, you know, stuff like that. That's one thing. The other is the mistakes that I make based on their actions, you know. So what they're actually doing is that they just keep, you know, keep torturing, 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 torturing me so that uh, I will make mistakes and lose money. Which is something they love, you know, to, to always just try to make me lose all the money that I do have, you know. Which I don't know uh, how this could be beneficial for them to just torture and humiliate. I just, I just cannot see the, the point of it because Norway, I'm not going back to Norway for life. Egypt, I'm not going back to Egypt for life. So I don't just see the point of torturing me at the moment. I just can't see it. Is it uh, because as it looks like, well, it doesn't give too many options actually it just like it looks like it's one option which is just murder I mean I just cannot see the other option of it I just can't see it but again as I said they tried to actually murder me physically twice so far in the past like week or two you know like literally and when that didn't work, they try now the, the torture and humiliation and all of that so that um, uh, they hope that I will be just like committing suicide or something, you know. Um, the Norwegian police always requested that I would be silent and stuff like that, you know. About the torture and humiliation and the directed in age of urban torture, but okay, how would you just stay silent about something which they just like, you know, keep using and you, keep humiliating, keep torturing you, you know? How should you? Or how anybody should? Um, well, I could actually just stay, stay silent, but they just keep torturing me. So, well, they leave no options. You know, there's no options in here. It's head to head, you know, because, well, there's no laws now. I'm not being treated with laws, so laws falls down, you know. So it's like more like organized crime unit or mafia stuff, you know. So, But unfortunately, official mafia, so, um, you know and calling themselves authority and, uh, you know, um, stuff like that. But unfortunately, you know. But anyways, um, so yeah, the mistakes that I make and the money that they just keep trying, like, always make me lose it. Uh, and we will see, you know, even to go to a shop, you know, to buy some stuff. You know, I always buy something that's not expensive, not cheap to just decent price when i even go there to buy my the decent stuff you know they just remove it from the shops and now i have to go and buy the expensive you know because the cheap one is shit quality you know cheap quality so they always trying to force me to spend and pay money on things you know just so that uh, so that I would be losing money one way or another. If I'm not losing money in this way, I would be losing it in that way. If I'm not losing it in that way, I would be losing it that way. 
lucky me or not lucky me well i'm very proud of myself to tell you that they couldn't drug me they couldn't make me alcoholic they couldn't make me you know <laughs> really you know i'm really proud of myself you know to stand out against the fucking state you know it's just uh, well not the state of course i'm i'm not i don't mean the whole like state but against the organized crime unit and just telling them like oh fuck you you tried you played every trick in your fucking books you know with the experience and he still couldn't get me hooked on something you know because they are punks you know anyways um um yeah we will see how this will end, but well, we have thirteen days more, so so I will be in the Iran, and when I'm there, we will see. I just wanna, you know, I just wanna see how tough they really are. You know, here they are just tough because they can bait the way out, or they can bait the the way, you know. But well, the Iranians let them operate the same w same way. That's a question. See right now, you you see me speaking very calmly and very, you know, but five minutes later, I was in severe severe anger and agitation, you know, out of the directed energy weapons. Now when I go out and do speak like stuff like like doing like what I'm doing right now, they just drop everything down like nothing happened. You know, you feel like happy as hell, you know. Five minutes later, I was in extreme agitation. The, the pressure on my ears, you know, the pressure alone is just extreme, you know. So what should I tell you? Um, what should I tell you? Um, the punks of the police, again, you know, they really want me dead, you know. Really, really want me that. But we will see. They just need to try harder, I think. And we will see if I will be dying anytime soon in Iran. Who knows? We will see.